Ever wonder how worldwide trade makes shipping and logistics work smoothly and clearly? Today, we are going to learn about Ingo terms, focusing on one important term, FCA or vicarious. This key term is at the center of international logistics and explain who is responsible for what in the shipping process. In our exploration, we are accompanied by the expertise of Sino Shipping, a distinguished Chinese fake forwarders. Their deep knowledge and experience in the field make them an ideal guide through the intricacy of FCA. With Sino Shipping, we will navigate the lunacy of the viral Inco terms, learning how it shapes the dynamics of shipping and trade. Join us as we will unravel the significance of FCA in the global trade, enumerating the roles and responsibility it established for buyers and sellers. From bustling Chinese port to international business hubs, understand how FCA facilitates trade across border, fostering efficient and reliability in the world of international commerce. Let's go! Free carrier, commonly known as FCA is an important term in the world of Inco terms. But what exactly does it entail? And the FCA, the seller's responsibility is to deliver the goods clear for export to a name place, usually via premises of or a special transport hub. Once the goods are handed over to the carrier selected by the buyers, the risk transfer from the seller to buyers. This setup makes FCA a applicable for all modes of transport, making it a preferred choice in various shipping scenarios. The route of FCA can be tracked back to when global trade began to demand more flexible shipping arrangement. Over time, as trade and wharf, FCA adopt addressing the need of modern international commerce and logistics. It's a reflection of dynamic nature of global trade offering a balance that wasn't quite met by other Inco terms like FOP or XWork. But why? Why FCA is so important in fake forwarding? It's because FCA strike a unique balance in the allocation of costs and risks. This balance makes it an attractive option for both buyer and seller, providing clarity and predictability in international transactions. The terms has become a fundamental component in structuring deals and logistics strategy, ensuring that the global trade operates smoothly and efficiently. Cool. In an FCA fee carrier agreement, the division of responsibilities between the seller and the buyers is, dis is distinct and significant. For the seller, the primary obligation is to deliver the goods to the predetermined location, which could be their premise, a port, or another agreed upon place. This process includes the preparation of goods for transport and completion of necessary export documentation. Once the goods are handled or hand over to the carrier chosen by the buyers, the seller responsibility ends and make a clear boundary in the transactions. On the buyer's side, the responsibilities commerce when they or their chosen carrier receive the goods. From this point, the buyers assume all risks and costs associated with transporting the goods to their final destination. This includes handling all the import duties, taxes, and other expenses incurring during transit. The buyer engagement is crucial in coordinating the onward journey of the goods, ensuring their safe and timely arri arrival. For seller, FCA offers several advantages. It provides a clear cutoff point for their responsibility, reducing the risk and un of unexpected cost post shipment. This clarity is especially beneficial for sellers who may not have the resources to manage logistics in the buyer's countries. Additionally, FCA allows sellers to have control over the first part of the shipping process, ensuring that the goods proper prepare and handle off. On the other hand, FCA can be highly advantageous for buyer as well. It offers them a flexibility to choose their carriers and negotiate 
shipping terms directly, potentially reducing costs. The buyer also gained more control over the shipping process once the goods have been handled, allowing for better coordination and planning of the transport logistic. In summary, FCA presents a balanced framework for international trade, clearly indicate responsibilities and allowing both seller and buyers to manage risk and cost effectively. Have you ever considered how the ch choice of shipping terms can shape international trade dynamics? Let's delve into FCA fee carrier and its unique position among other inco terms like CIF and XWork EXW. Unlike CIF, where the seller bears the cost and the risk until the destination port, or EXW, which imposes minimal obligation on the seller. FCA provides a middle ground, transferring risk from the seller to the buyers once the goods are handed over to the first carrier. To initiate, picture a manufacturer in German shipping machinery to Canada. Under FCA, the responsibility ends when the machinery is handed over to the Canadian buyers' carriers in Hamburg. This scenario differs significant from CIF, where the German manufacturer could handle transport to Canada, or EXW, where the Canadian buyer would manage the entire process from Germany. However, navigating FCA is not without its challenge. What? Miscommunication about the handover point can lead to dispute and logistic hiccup. Plus, the seller responsibility for export clearance under FCA often requires careful coordination especially in countries with strict custom regulation. The global legislative landscape also profound influence FCA agreement. Different countries, customs, and trade regulation can impact how FCA is implemented, making it essential for traders to be well informed about this aspect. <sighs> Selecting the right inco terms is a strategic decision. Influencing cost, control, and risk management in logistics. The choice of FCA, for instance, requires balance this factor effectively. When we zoom into the Chinese market, FCA reference becomes even more prolonged. With Chinese extensive export economy, FCA offers both opp opportunities and complexities. Understanding local practice, regulative environment, and logistic lunacy is crucial for successful FCA transition in and out of China. In summary, FCA stands as a crucial component in international trade. In comparison with other inco terms, practically application, inherent risk, regulatory impacts, and strategic importance especially in the Chinese context, are essential considering for any international trade professional. As we conclude our exploration of FCA fee carriers, let's revisit the key insights about this viral in terms. FCA offers a balanced approach in international trade, making the point of risk transfer from seller to buyer at a name place of delivery its flexibility across various mode of transport and its ability to streamline the export process, making it a proper choice in global commerce. Okay. Sino Shipping, with its extensive experience in fake forwarder, advise careful consideration using FCA. It's crucial to clearly define the handover point and understand the representative application for export clearance. We recommended meticulous planning and open communication between all parties involved to ensure a smooth and efficient transactions. For those who are navigate the complexity of international shipping, particularly under FCA terms, sign shipping extend 
our expertise and support. Whether you are a seasonal trader or new to the field, our team can provide tailored solution and guidance to meet your shipping needs. We invite you to reach out to Sino Shipping for further information or assistance with FCA Inco terms. Our knowledge and experience in the field can be invaluable in enhancing your trade operations, ensuring that your goods move across border seamlessly and efficiently. Follow Sino. We are your shipping pro.